good morning and welcome to the Velo Ads YouTube channel. Today, Johnny's getting scientific again. <laughs> They're thinking, oh God, what's he doing? Have a look over my right shoulder. Today, we have a Tesla Model Y. New model, there's only a handful in the UK at the moment. And we have one here. And we also have a Snook Velomobile. So the question that's been intriguing me and quite a few of my friends is, with the self-drive thing on, on the Tesla, what do they call it? What do they call it again? Yeah, full self-driving mode in the Tesla. Will it be able to spot a human-powered vehicle on its computer system and take evasive action? So I'm going to be the crash test dummy in the Snook. And then my mate will be driving that and we're going to see what happens. This should be fun. Stay tuned. I'll show you around the Tesla and the bike. The Tesla Model Y that we use for this demonstration was spec'd as follows. It's a standard Tesla Model Y long range version, not the performance model. It does have all the automation options, but most of these are still in beta mode, i.e. Tesla are still developing them. Right, so this is the uh, Tesla Model Y. It's quite a big beast. It does look quite pretty, actually. So it's got five seats and um, all the gubbins in here, as you can see. How do you open it? There we go. So if it does spot the Velomobile, it will come up on this screen. So let us tell you a little bit about the bicycle that is riding along in front of the Tesla Model Y. The machine in front of the Tesla is called a Snook. That's the model name, and it is a Velomobile, which is a, a Velomobile is a human powered vehicle. So you have to pedal to move the thing. It is one of the fastest models money can buy. It is designed to cut through the air like a hot knife through butter. It has weather protection because you're inside the machine. There is a lid as well, which you can put on that you can put on top uh, to keep the wind out, to keep the rain out, and to make you go a little bit faster. The bike is very comfortable because the seat has a seat pad on it and it's sculpted sort of, uh, to the shape of your body. So the seat's very comfortable. Uh, you have weather protection. Basically, you don't get wet when it rains or you don't get cold when it's freezing. Um, it's very comfortable and very, very fast because it was designed uh, for racing, i.e. to win the world championships, the ladies uh, championship. It's very efficient as well a lot more efficient than a road bike so you'd be putting out less power to do the same speed and there we are so that's the snook velomobile for the uninitiated now you know what a velomobile is about and uh, check out my channel and you can find out more on velo ads <music>
Ooh, snazzy. Excellent. Right, let's give it a go. Right, so as you can see, the Snook Velomobile doesn't fit into uh, the, uh, the boot on the front of a Tesla Model Y, unfortunately. So, I'm thinking maybe the other way, tail first in between the seats, but not sure. It's because that front seat doesn't go far uh, forward enough. Okay, so that's a no-no. It would have to go on the roof, on the expensive Tesla roof rack. Okay, so that was fun. <laughs> awesome. Velo ads out.